Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday. That means Champions League content is possibly here. We got an SBC today on Monday that I'm I want to talk about today as well. But just a cheeky little market talk video for you guys, kind of looking at the market, what happened today. Some indexes rose, might have made some coins on some cards. We didn't get a pack SBC for once. It was a GG. From EA today, we got the Scream Hulk SBC and an SBC for a kit. So, no packs, except for if you did Hulk, were really entered onto the market today. So you got to see the market rise a little bit, which is kind of nice. We'll look at that graph as well um, on Footbin. So we'll look at some of that stuff today. But I also want to talk about the UCL stuff and how that could affect the markets. Heading into this morning, into tonight, Tuesday, 6 p.m. UK, with Champions League games happening. I want to talk about the UEFA marquee matchups as well. We have a lot of SBCs that are out right now, man. The Ultimate Screen promo is going on. A lot of SBCs. Obviously, of the two-player SBCs. We got the Scream Hulk today. Now, this is an SBC that a lot of people are kind of thinking about. Is it actually worth it? And some people are saying, yes, it's worth it. Some people are saying no. Um, first of all, I want to look at the price of the SBC. 150,000 coins is what it shows right now in Footbin. You can't see that. It's kind of covered up right there. But 150k to do this SBC, honestly not too bad. I mean, if you think about his Inform card last year during FIFA 19, his Inform card was like 300,000 coins when it was in packs. Now granted, I think that had a different position. I think it was a center attacking mid card. Um, but this card right here, honestly, it's not terrible. Uh, this Hulk card, it's honestly not too bad. He is right mid, that takes him down a little bit, but he's got very good looking stats with the four star skill moves. The left foot for cutting in with a finesse shot, high medium work rates, five foot ten, and he's got pretty good stats all around. Obviously, the stats people are going to point out right away are probably the 59 balance and the 76 composure. 76 composure isn't terrible, the agility isn't great either, but the 59 balance is really going to make him probably not feel so great on the ball in the game. And that is a bit tough because if you're using this guy, you're probably going to use him as either a center attacking mid or maybe like a right mid. I mean, he's got some decent pace. Maybe even a center mid you could try using him there. Not a lot of defense. He might not feel the greatest on the ball, but I mean, he's got great shot power, great long shots, and uh, pretty good passing. So the strength and aggression as well. He could hold the ball up pretty well in the midfield. If you're doing this SBC, um, I would just hope that you have a lot of coins, to be honest. It's 150,000 coins you're trading in for an untradeable card at this stage of the game. Yes, it's going to be fun to use for a while. I mean, it's a very good card, really nice stat boost, and it's a FIFA fan favorite from a lot of years past. So I don't fault you for doing the SBC, especially because it's only 150k. I mean, an 86 rated squad and then two 83s with one of them, you need a team of the week player in there. The packs that you get back aren't the best. Uh, you do get a rare mega for the big SBC, which costs you 120k, which is definitely the most of the the value of this SBC. So it's not a terrible SBC. Maybe like a six and a half or seven out of ten is what I would say. Maybe even a seven and a half out of ten is where I would kind of rate that SBC. Not bad if you're a Brazilian, if you're a Chinese league fan, if you're a Hulk fan from back in the day, if you're just a an OG FIFA fan with the Hulk cards, go ahead and do that SBC. Honestly, not too terrible. What it did do today is since that SBC required two 83 rated squads and an 86, you actually saw some of the low level, the discard SBC fodder cards go up today. Last night, Sunday night, they were at an all time low. Sunday morning, 53 points on the market after the EU was waking up and getting their squad battle rewards right there. 53 points early in the morning, and then it rises up after 6 p.m. UK into the evening or right now it's at 70 points so you see a lot of these cards rose up today um, not a ton obviously the ones that had good links and good nationalities are going to rise up the most i think even some of these other indexes rose up a little bit like a, a let's say index 84 let's go to index 84 so even for the 80 for the 86 rated sbc yeah some of these cards rose up today as well i'm sure you can see here lucas lieva's up 3900 3700 for Devridge, canales 4500 and especially, this is something to watch. Like, I'm going to be looking at some of the cards that rose today for this SBC. And this is going to be something to watch on the market because we haven't had too many SBCs like this so far this year that require a decent rating squad. This is going to give us something to look at for which cards are going to rise in the future. Like, you saw Canales there on Footbend said 4,500 coins. He is 4K. Let me go back and look at his graph. 
This is a very linkable player, Spanish center attack in mid. It looks like he was around 3,000. So basically, he went from like 3K to 4K. I'll show you guys right here on Footbin. He was over here at like 3,300 coins before today, and now he's back up at uh, he's back at 4,500. So that was a card that definitely rose up a decent bit today. It looks like you even could have got him at 3K flat. Then right at 6 p.m., he went up to 4,200, and he's kind of been chilling there ever since. So Sergio Canales would be a guy that we kind of know. Possibly would be somebody that rises up in the hype with an SBC. Just something to know, man. Just look out. Go on the market and look for some of these cards that rose today with this SBC, and that's going to tell you which cards are going to rise the most because if they if they rise for an SBC like this that has some sort of demand, not a ton, just a little bit of demand, they're going to rise a lot for a future SBC. So that's um, one thing that I wanted to point out to you guys as well since those cards did rise today. Um, keep your eyes on those certain cards that rose in the future. Now, I want to talk about the market as a whole today as well. We're going to go back over to Footbin. We keep going back and forth. That's how it is on these videos. We love Footbin. We love FIFA. They go right together, right? This is the market today. The early morning opening of squad battle rewards for some people waking up in the EU. After the midnight release, you see the market gone at 63 points there for a shade of time. 63 and here at the end of the night, uh, we're up to 67 points on the market. It's a freaking GG, dude. Let's go to index gold as well. I actually had some cards today that I bought Sunday night with rewards, and I held a couple of them. It, you know, it's not a massive rise, but some of the cards, um, ooh, Fabinho, 59K. I bought a couple of 55K today with some shadows on them. Some of these other meta cards, you see a lot of meta cards, higher rated in this in this uh, area right here. You got De Gea, you got Yoris, Fabinho, Modric. Firmino, Isco, Alba, Griezmann. So it looks like some people, the, the market did rise a little bit today, but I want you guys to be wary. I want you guys to be wary and be careful of what we could see with the UCL content today. Today on FIFA Ultimate Team, it is Tuesday. I'm actually recording this on Monday night. You know how it is. You know how it is. But we are going to be getting some sort of UCL promo, some sort of UCL stuff happening today and this is what I was looking for a card like this La Celso 83 rated if you have any of these cards in your club for any reason that's tradable please sell it get it out because these cards could very easily be supplied again today whether they mean to put them out or whether they don't mean to put them out I talked about it in yesterday's video a little bit but if these videos or excuse me I talked about it in yesterday's video if these cards come back onto the market via an SBC pack today you're gonna see a lot of market movements because when these cards get packed, if it's like a two-player UCL pack or like a three-player UCL pack, all of those same packs from last year are in the code for this year. If we see those packs in SBCs today, if they put them as a reward for UEFA marquee matchups or something like that, you're going to see a lot of supply for these blue cards come onto the game. And hopefully they even clear it up with us and say what these cards are going to be used for. Because right now we just have a few of them on the market that shouldn't, they honestly should not be on the market. Here's a Sissoko for 70k, blue card. Um, these cards should not be on the market because they sh EA said it was a mistake. They were actually in packs during ones to watch. And um, people were packing them from actual like real packs, which is very interesting. But today I think we're going to get the supply of those again, whether it be through an upgrade SBC, that's a possibility, or through like a marquee matchups, UEFA marquee matchups. Either way, that's a lot of supply for those cards coming onto the game, whether they're tradable or untradable, and that could cause some drop in the gold card market. So I want to I want to tell you guys to watch a few things today leading up into the 6 p.m. UK release of the UCL content today on the market. Watch some of the price. Watch some of the prices of the gold market, and watch some prices of the inform market. I want to start off with the inform market. We're looking at Thomas Delaney right here. He has 80,000 coins. He does have a blue card, but he has an inform that is out of pack. 75k for this card, which is actually pretty low. It's actually pretty low for that card. And you see he does have a blue card right here. But what I want you guys to watch today is two things. Watch the informs and watch the gold cards because the gold cards could get undercut by some of the supply that comes from these blues. A guy that could be hit like that. I remember last year very vividly, Leroy Sané's gold card was around 150, 160,000 coins at the beginning of the year when the UCL blue cards 
came out in the SBCs. They were tradable on the market through like a UEFA marquee matchups SBC. They got packed, and all of a sudden, the supply from those packs coming out of the market, those blue cards, UCL Sané last year, who actually had plus one over his base card, this year they're the same rating, UCL Sané's card went underneath his gold card price. And I bought one because I didn't have a ton of coins. It was very early FIFA. And Leroy Sané's gold card price dropped to meet that blue card price. And then the blue card price shot up as people realized that that card was very, very undervalued on the market since it was lower than his gold. That's something that you could see today. They would be a big time market mover. If after the SBC comes out, a ton of supply comes onto the market and you see those prices go down, Watch the gold cards today. A lot of people right now are going liquid. I know that I've seen a lot of posts in the trading community on Twitter. A lot of people are going liquid. I'm still going to hold the few wants to watch brands that I have. I have a couple random things here that I'm listing for lazy buyers. Um, like these hour years, I think I bought it like 20k a piece, thinking that he would go up with a link to um, Endombele or whatever, whenever it was. I've had those for a while. I have some wants to watches and just some cards that I'm trying to lazy sell for the fun of it just to make an extra buck or two. Um, I don't think the once the watchers would be really um, affected that much, but you could have some gold cards that are affected. So maybe it is a good idea for you to look at your club and say, hey, maybe I can sell some of these guys because if the SBC comes out today, we could see a big time drop in the gold cards on the market. And of course, what it is with these supply pack SBCs, new cards coming to the market for the high rated golds that are very popular, it's always a drop and then a rebound because people still need those cards for their club, especially if they're doing an SBC that brings them coins and packs and getting coins from packs. They can go out and buy players and upgrade their teams and buy those players back if they panic sold, buy it back, whatever. But the blue cards are what I'm going to be very interested to see how EA decides to do that today and if they decide to put them out via SBC or like whatever and if they do decide to supply them a lot. If it's just one pack or if they just do the UCL upgrades. That's a possibility. You might see a little bit of a panic on the market. I remember last year, everybody loved to trade with the blue version of Kyle Walker. Are there any Kyle Walkers on the market? There are. A blue Kyle Walker, obviously this year it has the same stats as his gold card, which is a little bit underwhelming. But Kyle Walker right there, 140K. What is Kyle Walker's normal card? Is it like 70 or 60,000 coins? Somewhere up in here? He's like 70K. So Kyle Walker's just under 70,000 coins for his gold card, but it's an 84 rated blue that could get packed a decent amount. And this is a very popular player in FIFA, Manchester City. He gets that link to the new Otamendi that came out. He's arguably one of the best right backs in the Prem right now, even though we do have some informs already in that position. Um, he's the best gold card, I think, him and Cancelo. It's always an argument between, between who's better between those two guys anyway. But a lot of people use Kyle Walker. He is English, Manchester City. So watch a guy like this, a popular player that has a low kind of rating. 84 is kind of mid, mid tier. Maybe if you saw a guy like Sissoko or a guy like Furlan Mendy, this would really hurt their price, especially Furlan Mendy. I'm glad I thought of that example. This is going to be a card that a lot of people would get from that pack. If it's a two player upgrade pack, 80 rated card, he's going to get on the market a lot. He's 40,000 coins right now. His price could go down a lot tomorrow depending on what the pack weight is on the blues and how much supply they do release of these blue cards if they do come out at all tomorrow, which I think they will. I think they should. Um, I think we should see them tomorrow. But again, I want to run through really quickly what happened last two weeks ago with the uh, Champions League content. The UEFA Marquee Matchups SBC came out at 8 p.m. UK. It came out two hours later than a normal content drop because I think that was when, I mean... I think that was when the actual Champions League games were being played. So those SBCs came out during the Champions League games on Tuesday last week. Because everybody was at 6 p.m. We were like, no content, it's a UCL day, what the heck is going on? But it came out a couple hours later. So watch for that to happen again today, on Tuesday, with Champions League. And watch and see what happens on the market with those cards. Be careful with your gold cards. Again, I'm scared for the low rated stuff on the market. They could even put a, a Scream SBC tomorrow giving out more packs with the Scream Pack SBC and some of that stuff. So I would be very, very careful with what you see tomorrow on the market. Be ready for some panic in the morning. If you see panic in the morning, maybe look to pick up some informs or panic after the 6 p.m. drop or when UEFA Marquee Matchups drops. Definitely some time to pick up informs. And this is a tip for you guys. 
especially if you stayed all the way to the end of the video. Kudos to you. But during the Champions League games and during any big games, IRL games, you can look on the market and find a lot of deals on bid and on snipe. Cards will stay up and if it's an undercut, cards will stay up longer because there's less people looking on the market during Champions League games. So if you're sitting down watching the Champions League game, whip up that companion app on your phone and check around for some deals on the market and see if you can maybe snag some. Maybe snag some bids, look at some special cards, look at some cards that aren't very popular but still go for a decent amount of price. I think of a guy like Tiago Silva. Um, yes, he's a pretty popular inform. But he's, he kind of flies under the radar, you know? But he's still what? He's like 60,000 coins, yeah? Somewhere around like 65K right there. 35K for the blue ones. 65K for the inform. Watch a guy like this. You might be able to pick up some cards on bid tomorrow, especially some informs, high-rated gold cards, when less people are on the market watching the game, while they're watching the game, and uh, possibly do a little trading during that time frame, man. It, it seriously is a thing during Champions League games and during big games as well. Uh, it's... It's uh, really interesting to see those types of market movements. If you enjoyed the video today, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's freaking get some UCL content today. I'll be very excited for that. But uh, most of all, boys, thanks for tuning in to this Market Talk video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.